Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to talk about my favorites for September. And I can't understand that September is over and yeah, I think when you see it, um, I think this will come up on Monday, then it's October. And <laughs> for me it feels like 2018 started two months ago or something like that, so I don't know where the time has went. It feels so strange, but uh, I'm going to show you my favorites that I have had now in September. So, I will start with some skincare today, and I have quite a lot of skincare products this month. I usually don't have that much skincare, but this month I have it, and I don't know what to start with. Okay, I know. And we can start with a new face wash, that's my favorite, and it's a melting cleansing butter from Kix, that's a beauty store here in Sweden and in Norway, Finland, yes, uh, it's a cleansing butter, so it's a butter that you clean off your makeup with, and this is so good, the makeup just, it melts away, it's a little bit smelly but I'm okay with the smell but I really love this and it's pretty cheap so I'm going to continue buying this when this is, is empty so I really like this uh, I wash off my makeup and it takes away everything have everything the toughest mascara the toughest lipsticks everything so I really love this I love products that you can take all your makeup away and um, products that work on both eyes and on your face and I really love this butter. Then I also love my new face mask from the body shop. I made a tea time video when I tried this mask for the first time and I have used it a couple, a couple of times after that and it's their Mediterranean almond milk with oats instant soothing mask and this is a very it's suitable for sensitive skin and it's a very nice mask to have it gives moisture and it cleans a little bit and it's also a little bit exfoliating and I really like this my skin has been acting up these couple last couple of weeks now it's super good again and this this is a super good mask it does something, but not too much, so I really like this, and it smells amazing. This I have had for a long time, but I stopped using it now after the summer, because this is pretty strong on your skin, and it's from The Ordinary. It's their Granitive Retinoid 2% Emulsion, and this was their previous Advanced Retinoid 2%, and I have used this... I think the last couple of weeks, two weeks, and I used it three or four times. And I don't know if it's this that helped my skin, but my skin is so good right now. I'm so happy. I get away all these little things, you know. It's not a sit, but it's almost like a sit, but I have had a lot of sits also. But this one, I really love this. But I don't want to use it too often because it's very hard on your skin and you are not uh, in, should get in, in contact with the soul, so with the sun, <laughs> solar exposure. Um, but I really like this and I have one more bottle and I'm just like here now so we will see how long this takes. But I really love this. My skin looks so freaking good right now, so I'm so happy that I started to use this. And then I have loved my Ole Henriksen Bad and Right Eye Cream. I usually don't like eye creams, but this is a yellow eye cream that's going to lighten up your eye area a little bit. And also, it's supposed to be collagen boosted. And I I think it looks a little bit better and it feels very good to have on your eyes so I really like it but this was pretty expensive I have a coupon and that's why I bought it 
but I really like this. Uh, it's nice to have on and it's it's lining up a little bit and it's super good to put your makeup on this, your concealer on this. So I really like this even though it's super expensive. So if this ever is going to be empty, I think I will buy a new one. And that's not often I said it about an eye cream. And the last, I don't know if this is skincare or makeup or what this is, but I bought a blue lip scrub from Jeffree Star, his rainbow sorbet. And this is a sugar lip scrub that you can eat and it's vegan and I really like this. It's some oil in it, I think, maybe jojoba oil or something. I don't know, yeah, jojoba. And it exfoliates, it scrubs your lips, but it's also moisturizing your lips. <coughs> so I really like it. I usually use this on um, one step in my night routine. So I use this, fix my face and then moisturize my lips. And I really like this and it tastes awesome. So that's good. So I think this is the best lip scrub I have tried and I have tried a couple and the things I like most is the taste and that is vegan. It's hard to find vegan lip scrubs that you can eat. And I have to have a lip scrub that I can eat because I don't understand the purpose if you can't eat your lip scrub. Then I also have some makeup of course and we can start with a foundation. I have loved this foundation a couple of years ago and then I started using only liquid foundations but now I got back to this and this is a mineral foundation from a Swedish brand that is called TK. And this is really good. It gives a really natural result. But you can build it up if you want more. But if you just want your skin to look very smooth. This is amazing and it works on my dry skin. So I really like this. I'm thinking about starting to using this for work. I just <laughs> have to get up in time so I can have time to do it because I start really early in the morning and my routines, I want them to be as short as possible in the morning. But when I just, when my skin just feel tired, tired, and I just want something more extra, I use this and I love it. Then two base products that one of them I love and one of them I hate, but combine I love these two. Uh, it's the Colourpop concealer. And when I made my first impression of this concealer, I said I didn't love it, but I said that I think I have to learn to work with it. And now I have, I have it on today and it looks good. And it stays under your eyes, that's very good. So I use a little bit of this, just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I used Infinity Filter powder from Linda Halberg. It's a loose setting powder and I set this one. And these two together, it's amazing. This one darkens my foundation a little bit, so I can't use it all over my face. But this concealer brightened up my under eyes so goddamn much. And this tones down a little bit. So these work super good together. And I think this is the only under eye concealer and powder I've used for September. And I really like this. So if you have this one and you hate it, try with this powder and hopefully it will work for you as well. It has been a lot. I have bought a lot of new palettes under September. But my favorite palette that I have bought is the Blossom palette from Blush Tribe. So it looks like this if you have missed it. And it's a really good palette. I love the colors and they look amazing and they work amazing and I'm so glad that I finally bought this one and I really really love it. Oh my face turns really dark when I'm holding up this. But this is super super good if you like colors and you like matte 
eyeshadows buy this one you will not regret it because it is amazing so yeah this has been my favorite eyeshadow palette of September okay and now I only have two things left <laughs> um, I have found a new favorite brush and this is from BH Cosmetics it's their V5 it's one of their vegan brushes and I bought this from Beauty Bay I wanted another blending brush and I think I took the vegan section and then I took one of the cheapest one and it was this one and this is one of the best blending brush I have ever used and I've used a lot and I love this and it was cheap as fuck so I'm going to buy more of these maybe two more three more because this is the best blending brush ever I really really love it so if you want a good blending brush buy this because it I could pay much more for this this is fantastic so this is my new favorite brush and I'm going to buy a whole lot of more of them now we are on the last product and it's a lip product and it's also from Colourpop it's their lipsticks I really like their lipsticks I have had three of them for a while for one year maybe one or two years maybe I should throw them away then and I have buy some new ones bought some new ones what's up with my English and this is love life and this is a super red color and I I just love this I'm a little bit insecure when it comes to red lips I can use whatever lip color there is but red is my thing that I feel like I don't know if it suits me but this red this is so so nice and it's completely matte and this is my favorite red of all times I super love it and I am so glad that I bought it so it looks like this and I have used it in a couple of my videos I think and it's amazing it is super matte but it don't feel drying on your lips and it's such a good color and if this ever will run out I think I will buy it again because it's it is the best red I have ever tried so that was all of the favorites I have had in September Um yeah please comment if you had a special favorite for this month it's always fun to know what people love and maybe I will try some of your favorites and maybe you will try some of mine's mine's <laughs> so I think this is a fun video to make because maybe we got the same preference and I can recommend something to you and you can recommend something for me so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please press like so I know I y do this once a month I try to have them up in the end of the month or maybe the first one or two days in the next month that this th thing is ugh, some days it's just like okay so i really hope you enjoy this video so if you like it press like and if you're not subscribing i really recommend you do so don't miss any of my videos so i will i hope i will see you in my next video bye in my glasses while I was scheming for the mess. Who do you think you are? Dreaming about me.